Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite speculations going into rotation. Um, as soon as this video is recorded, it's either rotation or soon to be rotation. So I'm going to talk about the enemy pain lands. The enemy pain lands are very good and legacy and vintage because Adrazi is a deck. Adrazi is a deck in Vintage, Adrazi is a deck in Legacy, and Adrazi will kind of, it's a pseudo deck, it's not a tier 1 deck exactly, but in Modern, um, outside of, you know, it's banning, it's still surviving. So whenever you look at these, there's a reason I haven't really traded these away, I've kept them. Normally I would start trading away lands much, much sooner, probably 60 days before rotation, and I can get rid of probably... I want to say 80% of them if I really want to get rid of them. But the exception being fetch lands, shock lands, and these. These I love a lot, uh, mainly because of the flexibility they have with Adrazi's. And I play Adrazi in Modern, I play Adrazi in Legacy because it's so cheap. The deck right now is incredibly affordable, but as we know from Legacy, things that are affordable now are not affordable, you know, four years, four to five years from now when supply dries up. So if I were to tell you something to keep, it would be these pain lands. They will just continue to drop off in price until they hit the bottom. Probably two weeks after Kaladesh's release, it will be nearing bottom. And then go ahead and pick them up. Um, there's not really a preference. I guess Caves is would be my favorite one of the five. But when I pick these up, it's really just random. What I get Caves or Reef would probably be my favorite too and my preference would be those two. But for the most part, I'm just gonna pick them up in sets. You should be able to get them extremely cheap when players are trying to get rid of them and you're the only one who will trade for them. But long-term, these have tremendously, especially foil versions of them. And I can give you an example of a ally one, which is skyrocketing in price right now, Brushlands. Brushlands from Ice Age, Fifth Edition, all those older sets, yes, there's not as, many of them as probably something printed in Origins, but Brushlands is now a $8, $10 card. I can see these being similar, $5 to $6 cards, which makes them very, very good given their current price point. I feel like most of these will drop below a dollar. The unpopular ones will drop below a dollar. But like I said, shock land, uh, when you look at these Shocklands, it doesn't matter what color type. So people are always so focus on colors, a lot of times it's random. When Return to Ravnica happened, the number one shock land, which was $15, was the Temple Garden. That was the number one because it was in the best deck in standard. Steam Vents was $5 to $6 when Temple Garden was 15 Well, Steam Vents is actually the best one to, well, previously in modern, it used to be the best shock land, mainly because of the Twin Deck. Well, now the Twin Deck has uh, has been banned out and we'll probably have another shock land so you never really know and even if your shock land or your color your enemy color is best right now it may not be best forever and there will be a banned card and to mess up the deck there will be you know new cards in different colors but uh, the adrazi in my opinion are just very op and i love them as a a long-term hold, a long-term speculation, and there's never a case where I won't trade for them. The only one that I'm skeptical of is Adrazi Mimic. The other ones, which I'll get into detail later, I really don't have any trouble uh, holding on to them. It reminds me a lot like Philia. Philia, I've always knew would be a $10 card. It was just a question of when, and when is today. So yeah, this is my speculation. I'm trying to do more, um, ob you know, I'm trying to do obvious ones, but also tell you directly I'm going into this. Uh, I'm look actively looking for this type of card because at the end of the day, it's a modern playable for a dollar, a dollar fifty, maybe even less after it rotates out. You don't typically see modern playables at a dollar, especially land. Anyway, bye guys.